In our previous tutorial, we solved linear equations in MATLAB. Uh, for this next tutorial, we're going to work on nonlinear equations. Okay, so what do we do? Um, well, we can't just do matrix multiplications and inversions in order to be able to find our solution. Okay, so um, let's say we had an equation such as uh, 3x squared uh, minus 9 equals 0. Uh, that is nonlinear. Um, and so if we, we can solve this, um, you know, simply it's x squared equals 3 or x equals plus or minus square root of 3. Uh, but let's say we had additional equations, um, let's say tens or thousands of these equations uh, that we need to solve simultaneously. And uh, we need to be able to develop the tools to, to be able to do that. So let's just come up with a, a simple example here. Um, this is x squared plus y squared equals 20 equation of a circle, and then y equals x squared. So I'm going to have a radius of square root of 20. Okay, um, and this is y and this is x. And then we might have our, uh, our quadratic as well. So this is y equals x squared, and this is going to be x squared plus y squared uh, equals 20. Okay, so we have a solution here and we have a solution here. Let's just add uh, two additional constraints. X is greater than zero and Y is greater than zero as well, just to limit our search to uh, this region right here. Okay, so let's come over to MATLAB and um, what we'll do is we'll just set this up and solve it. Uh, we'll do it symbolically first and then we'll do it numerically with a um, F solve. Okay, so once MATLAB comes up, um, what we'll do is, uh, first of all, just create some symbolic symbols, and we'll do X and Y. Okay, so we have two new symbolic symbols, and then we're going to um, report a solution. We'll use a solve function, and we'll put our equations in these first square brackets, and then the variables that we want to solve for in the second one. Okay, so we want to solve for X and Y. And the equations that we have are x squared plus y squared um, equals 20. And just separate them by commas. And don't forget to put a double equal sign here. Okay, and then we have y is equal to x squared. And then we'll have x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0 as well. Okay, so that will return a solution. It returns it as a structure, an sol.x and sol dot y. If you don't want the answer there, you can just do the display and then they'll just return sol dot y. But let's say we just wanted it to return uh, directly um, as x or y. You can hit the up arrow there and just modify that. I'll return it as x and y. Okay, so let's do this also with uh, numerically. So we'll use f solve. So if you type help F-Solve, um, you can see a little bit of help, actually a lot of help on F-Solve uh, with a couple examples and use cases. Um, but what I'll do is first of all just change my directory. Just come up here and navigate to a directory where you want to save a new function file. And I'm going to create, um, okay so I'm here on my desktop and if I just click home and new script, um, I'm just going to call this um, function, um, I'll return f and then I'll set that equal to, and then I've got to put in my function name. Um, so I'll just call this my function and make that a function of z. Okay, so z um, is going to be, uh, just to rename that, x is going to be equal to z1 and then y is going to be equal to z2. So that's my second element of my z vector. I'll put semicolons after those so I don't have it re, um, spitting out a lot of information at the command prompt. Okay, it suppresses the uh, print state, the print to the command. Okay, and then I need to return uh, my function 1. This is going to be my first equation. And so that's going to be equal to x squared plus y squared minus 20. So I just put all of the expression onto one side of the equation. And so when it solves this, it's going to try to make f1 and f2 equal to 0. And then I'll also do the same thing for the next one. Um, 
and put the semicolons after them just to suppress um, the output. Okay, and then I put an and um, at the end. And then let me uh, save this. If I click Control S um, or I, I tell it to save, then it's going to suggest a name. Um, just have it named exactly like uh, the function was named there. Okay, so there's my function. And then we can come back to the command prompt. Um, I'm going to do a CLC just to clear the screen. Um, and also do a, um, a clear all just to clear the variables from the workspace. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is come up with as uh, guess values. Guess values, um, so I'll just say one and one. Okay, so those there are my guess values for Z. Um, that's going to be the first element is going to be X, second element is going to be Y, and then I'm going to have. Um, let's see. Now I can say that Z, my answer is going to be F solve, and I need to use the at sign, and then put in uh, my function, whatever you called it there, and then give it the guess values. Okay and then it's going to return uh, the value of Z. The first one's going to be Z1 and then Z2. And so Z1 is going to be um, X and then Z2 will be Y. Okay, so I could also do the same thing uh, here if I just wanted it returned as X and Y. I could put X comma Y here and then you know what? That didn't work because the second argument is some of the um, the Lagrange multipliers, okay? So you can't do that here like you did on the symbolic one. Um, just have it return to uh, a Z value and then you can split it up from there. Okay, so that concludes uh, this tutorial on how to use um, F-solve, also solve them symbolically, uh, but to solve these nonlinear equations uh, with MATLAB.